Hello friends, welcome to Lug Life. You guys, today is an exciting day because we are about to go on our second RV adventure here in Alaska with Cruise America. We are here at their Anchorage location. Auburn is here with me. We are about to pick up the RV and uh, go home, load it up, head out on the road for another amazing Alaskan adventure. Let's go. So for this trip, we're actually heading south of Anchorage to the town of Homer, Alaska. So definitely grabbing this Homer travel guide here at the Cruise America office. All right, so we just checked in. We've got the RV ready to go. And obviously because we just did this with Cruise America last month, the check-in process was so similar, so smooth. This is basically the exact same RV that we had last time. And so we're so excited to go on another adventure. Now, let's get the RV home, let's get it stocked, let's get on the road, and let's get exploring. So friends, I think the RV is all packed up. We are ready to get on the road. But first, you guys know we have a piece of unresolved business from our last RV trip that we need to take care of. And it has to do with this adorable little dog right here. If you remember on our last trip, I said we needed your help naming the dog because if he is gonna be our traveling companion, he or she is gonna be our traveling companion, we clearly need a name. Now, you guys gave us so many great name ideas, but recently at our 4th of July gathering, Jace came up and he was asking if we had ever named the dog. And we said we hadn't chosen a name because there were so many good options. And he gave us the idea of the name Dodger. So I think we have got to name this adorable little puppy Dodger for a couple of reasons. Number one, it's literary. You know Sherry and Auburn love that. Number two, it's Disney. You guys know we love that. And three, what an adorable name for an adorable dog. So myself, Sherry, Auburn, and Dodger already hit the road. So we left Anchorage about 20 minutes ago. We're heading south today, and before we get too far down the road, wanted to stop and show you guys kind of where we're going so that you have an idea. And we stopped here at a beautiful place called Bird Point. We're gonna go out and kind of show you some of the views out there, but first, let's show you an Alaska map so you know where we're going today. We've got the milepost laid out here on the hood of the RV. The milepost, as you guys know, it says it's the Bible of North Country travel, and it really is. If you're visiting Alaska, you're gonna be traveling around the state RVing. This has like everything you could possibly want in it, including this pull-out map. So let's show you kind of where we are. Anchorage, as you guys know, is right here. And the town we're going to of Homer is actually here. So we are driving over here, back over here, and down to there today. So this is the part of the state we are going to be touring today. This part of the state is called the Kenai Peninsula. Later in the summer, we're going to Seward, which is a town over here. We're gonna do a like whale glacier cruise out of there. And then just so you know, our first trip, where we went from Anchorage, we went up to like Denali, Fairbanks, Delta Junction, down here to Glen Allen, back over to Anchorage. So did this on the first trip, doing this, this weekend. Bird Point here is a State of Alaska Parks fee station. Uh, it's $5 to park your vehicle, and obviously the fees for this kind of stuff go to maintain the parks, take care of everything. Uh, so they have like the fee envelopes right here. It's five bucks, put cash in there, drop it in there. This goes on your window, super easy. You can see the views here from Bird Point, absolutely beautiful, just mountains everywhere, the Turnigan Arm there. But if you look right down from us here, these flowers here are called fireweed. And one of the things here in Alaska that we say is that when the fireweed gets to the all the way to the top, when it blooms all the way to the top, you know that summer is almost over. So we love fireweed because it's beautiful. You see it all over the state. But the more and more bloomed it gets, it's just a reminder to us that the summer is coming to an end. And as you keep walking out here at Bird Point, you can see they did a really great job developing this area. It's really beautiful. I also really love how they like kept some of the natural rock here. Just gives it a super cool look. Great place for photos. It was a great place just to like come out here and sort of watch the inlet. You can see beluga whales out there from time to time. You can see the railroad tracks right down here. And actually there's a sign out here at the end that talks about the beluga whales that exist right here in Cook Inlet. So that's kind of fun. Sherry and I have seen them out there a few times. We haven't seen them recently. We definitely haven't seen them this year, but it's always fun just to go on a drive here down the arm, look at the beautiful scenery and then see beluga whales 
right out there in the inlet. They also have these like viewing telescopes. Auburn's using them. One of the things I like is that they're totally free. I've seen these some places where you have to like put in money in order to use them. These are just free for people to use. You can look out there. You can look at the mountains across the way. So we're leaving Bird Point. Now we're going to continue heading south. We're going to go past the town of Girdwood and then we're going to go to the Alaska Wildlife Conservation Center, one of our very, very favorite places on this drive. So we're just pulling up to the Alaska Wildlife Conservation Center. Sherry and I, there's Sherry. Say hi, Sherry. Hi. Uh, Sherry and I are members members of the Conservation Center. It's one of the organizations that we really love to support. We love the work that they do. Plus, it lets us get in for free whenever we have visitors in, and so to us, it is a no-brainer. One of the things that we really love about the Wildlife Conservation Center is that they focus on the rescue, rehabilitation, and when possible, release back into the wild of animals here in Alaska. Now, animals come here maybe because they were injured, maybe because they were found young without their mother or their parents with them. A lot of times, they just wouldn't naturally survive in the wild, and so they bring them here, and they take such good care of the animals, and it's just such a great place place to get up close with some of Alaska's amazing, amazing animals like this muskox. Look how awesome this guy is. So, so adorable. One of our favorite things actually are these signs they have around, Danger Muskox. I think that would make a pretty amazing band name. So if anybody out there wants to grab that name for their band, uh, there you go. And here at the Conservation Center, uh, they actually have like a big driving loop. So you can stay in your vehicle, drive around, see all the animals. These animals here are elk. You can see they're just kind of enjoying the sunshine eating some snacks. We just got to the brown bears, and you can see there's a couple of them over there, one swimming in the water, one of them over there on the beach, and then the other one, the third bear, is coming just here to our right. And this guy who just got out of the water is walking by. Yeah, please don't shake that water on us. And then all around the conservation center here, they have all sorts of informational boards. This one's kind of cool. It shows the different bears we have here in Alaska by skull size. You can see the black bears that we saw, obviously smaller than the brown bears, but then also they have the size of the polar bear skulls. How interesting is that? And just, you know, here at the conservation center, they do have a gift shop, a little snack bar. So if you wanted to pick up some little trinkets, some things to remember your trip here to the Wildlife Conservation Center, you can totally do that. Obviously, we just showed you guys a few of the animals here. They have a lot of more animals here. They have moose, they have porcupines, they have lynx, uh, they have lots of different animals. They have an eagle, uh, lots of different stuff. They have wolves here as well. And so it's definitely a place, if you're visiting Alaska, if you're heading south from Anchorage, if you're going to Homer, you're going to Seward, we think you should totally stop by. It's a great organization to support. It's a great mission. And it's just a really great, uniquely Alaskan place to visit. And the setting here, the natural setting that they built this in is just spectacular. But for us, we need to get back on the road and keep heading to Homer. So we just stopped. We're here at a place called Turnigan Pass. And this is the area as you leave like the Wildlife Conservation Center, continue heading south. Basically what happens is you start this gradual climb through the mountain. And as you get up here, uh, Turnigan Pass is like one of the first summits you come to. Just got to the town of Saldana, Alaska. We've been on the road for a few hours, have not eaten yet, and honestly, all of us are pretty hungry. So we're stopping at a place that none of us have ever been before. We're going to St. Elias Brewing Company. It's a local restaurant, micro brew place. We've heard good things, excited to give it a try for dinner. Here's the menu at St. Elias. It actually looks amazing. You can see they have some pizzas there. They've got some appetizers, soups and salads, baked sandwiches, desserts. They have a really nice beer selection here as well. And Sherry Beth, what do you think about sitting outside in the sun? It's pretty nice. It is so nice outside with night. Okay, our food got here. I got the chicken pesto pizza. And I have to say that looks and smells amazing. Adam, what did you get? I got the steak and cheese baked sandwich. It's got like caramelized onions, mushrooms, and then like kettle chips with it. Nice, Auburn. I got the brew house pizza. Yeah. That looks amazing. <laughs> it smells so good. So we are just pulling in to Homer, Alaska. Uh, as you get ready to descend into the town of Homer, there's an overlook up above the town, and that's where we just pulled off, kind of getting our first view of the area. Check this out. You can see mountains and ocean everywhere. The town of Homer is out there. And I'm gonna zoom in a little bit, and you can see a piece of land like way out there that kind of sticks out into the water there. That's called the Homer Spit. And that's actually where we're staying. We're staying out there on that little piece of land. That's where the harbor is. Sort of one of the main hubs of activity for Homer. But look how beautiful the setting here is. They also have just a ton of beautiful flowers. It smells amazing here. Lots of lilies, lots of whatever those are and other flowers. It's just so stinking pretty here. As we're sitting here at the overlook, there's these eagles. There's one right there. 
There's one over here just flying around. It's so amazing just to watch them soar. And one of the things that's really cool is because of our position where we're at, they're actually below us. Like eagles are the kind of thing you always like see soaring up in the sky. I don't feel like you ever get to like look down on them doing this. What a cool experience. So here we are in Homer, Alaska. Auburn's already walking the beach finding shells. Sherry Beth is back here looking at rocks and shells and stuff. This is the view right out from our campsite. We have a waterfront site here at the Heritage RV Park. And I'm gonna give you guys a full tour of kind of the area a little bit later, but look how amazing this is because this is our view. And you guys, right there, this right there, that's our RV. Are you kidding me? Campground Rat actually has full hookups. We've got connected to water here. We've got connected to power. We've got like the gray water tank over here. And this is sort of what the RV park looks like. You can see there's a lot of different spots. They have, of course, these waterfront spots over here, which is where we are. And then over here, they have this little like putting green area. That's what like this right here is. When we first pulled in, there were some people over there like playing soccer, just sort of kicking a ball around. You can see there's dumpsters over here for you to put your trash in and then they do have other camp spots that aren't on the water they're kind of out here in the middle and of course these are a little bit less expensive obviously the water is still just like right over there so it's not like you're far away do you guys see the little sea otter out there oh man he just had his little head popped up there he's right there uh we're sitting up there reading around the fire just kind of enjoying the night and i looked out there and i saw this little thing keep bobbing up and down and i thought maybe it was a bird and then i was like no i don't think it's a bird it is a little sea otter. How cute is that? Come back, little friend. There he is. Just got back into the RV. Want to show you guys real quick what we brought food-wise. Uh, we did not bring as much this trip because we want to go to some local restaurants while we're here. We did bring, however, a box of Uncrustables because, you guys, how could we not bring Uncrustables? Also, we have a box of Jimmy Dean breakfast sandwiches. We'll be able to microwave those up in the morning, keeping it simple. Um, and then in the refrigerator, we've got things like some hot dogs. We've got some pineapple, orange, passion fruit, orange guava juice. We've got Kenai dip. We've got stuff to make like turkey sandwiches. Up here, of course, we have our stuff for s'mores. We've got some sugar cookies. Got those as a gift for the ladies. Our bread, other things like that. And then down here, we have the box of chips, snacks, all sorts of stuff like that. Oh, there's gummy bears in there. Just basically a box of goodies. I did make a few improvements because I had a lot of trouble sleeping on our last trip because it is summertime in Alaska. So I, it's not very pretty, but it's gonna help me sleep. I put aluminum foil over this window because there's no curtain. Mm -hmm. And over this vent, because we don't use the vents really anyway. And then over this window as well, because it's right by my head. So one of the problems you had on the last RV trip was just with the summer light in Alaska. It was just like, even with everything closed up, there yep. was still a lot and of light coming in. Every time I moved, it, the light came in because this is just basically like sunlight pouring straight down. That's one of the things to keep in mind if you're visiting Alaska in the summertime is the light that we have here, that the sun is up late. And so if you're a kind of person that light would keep you awake, would keep you from sleeping, maybe plan accordingly. Aluminum foil is a popular thing to put over windows just because again, it doesn't let any light in. Sherry did a heck of a job we might look redneck oh, sure. but hopefully we're gonna sleep tonight we also realized that we forgot a few things um on our way down here we realized we forgot paper towels so we stopped on our way into town and got paper towels which we now have but we were sitting by the fire and realized we forgot sticks for s'mores which is unfortunate so we need to go get more of those and we also forgot hand soap so we can't wash our hands. So the girls are back in the RV going to bed or at least getting ready for bed. I decided to come out, go on a little bit of a walk, just walk along the beach a little bit, sort of end of the day out here by the water. You can see there's a bit of a party going on back there. Back there, They brought out tiki torches and everything. It is a beautiful night. Let me show you the sky right now. And again, this is at 1140 p.m. You can obviously see still a lot of light here in the sky. There's some boats 
in the water over there. And we'll tour more of Homer tomorrow and the next day let you guys see more of what the town is like. Tonight was really just spent out here reading by the fire, hanging out, just sort of getting settled. It's kind of the first night here in our Homer experience. And just so you guys know, the reason that we wanted to do this trip this way is that our hope with our RV trips this summer is that we're giving you an idea of what you could do as you're looking for ways to experience and explore Alaska. The first trip we did, you remember, we were on the road a lot, right? We drove, 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 did a lot of driving in a short period of time. And so this trip, again, we wanted to do differently. We wanted to go a little bit slower pace, maybe enjoy the area we were seeing a little bit more. And we're super excited to take you guys along as we do that here in Homer. Also, I told Sherry and Auburn that like, if I ever just just disappear for a couple hours they don't need to worry because guaranteed I am out just like walking the beach looking for rocks looking for shells this is like my peaceful place for sure you guys I don't know if you can see this there's like a little crab right here do you guys see this look at them they're all scurrying away look at those little guys I didn't know they were here Bye friends, good night. And you can see there actually are quite a few shells out here. Lots of like clam shells like that. Lots of mussel shells around. And you guys, look at this shell I just found. Kind of a cool little rounded shell. I'm gonna wash that one off and I think I'm gonna keep this one. And as always with these trips, we wanna say a huge thank you to Cruise America. You guys, they made these trips possible. They've been unbelievable to work with. The people in the Anchorage office are just so, so nice. It was really fun to actually go back in and pick up the RV today because they remembered us. We got to talk about our last trip. We got to talk about this trip. And so Cruise America, just the entire experience has been truly spectacular. If you're wanting to do an experience like this, either here in Alaska or wherever you live, we definitely would encourage you to check out Cruise America's website. We're gonna link all of their information down below please go check them out and again thank you to them for making all of this possible for us and friends with that i think i'm going to call it a night i think i'm going to start my walk back to the rv try to get a good night's sleep tonight wake up early get the girls coffee and enjoy our first full day here in homer alaska tomorrow as you guys can see the location is stunning and we're so excited to see more of it and to bring you guys along as always we love you thanks so much for being a part of our leg life community thanks for being a part of our journey we'll see you guys on the next video